Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making a holographic resin butterfly. And I wanted to do like a monarch inspired butterfly. So let's jump in and get started. Here, here I have some of my oil slick glitter. You can get this one from my Etsy shop. It's a beautiful, super fine holographic black glitter. I just mix that in with some clear resin and I'm just very carefully filling in the line details of this mold. This mold is called a holographic mold. It's got the holographic effect inside the mold. So anything you make inside this mold is going to turn out holographic. Now with that being said, you cannot pour over or top coat a holographic piece that you've made in a holographic mold because the holographic effect will disappear. And this exact mold, her shop is closed. Um, she has an announcement in her shop saying, you know she's going to reopen in a few months but I do know where you can get a similar mold so I will link that down below in the description box I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have um, and I did mix up my resin off camera I'm using the liquid diamonds resin today but I will link one of my tutorials down below in the description box showing step by step how I mix my resin if you're new to resin and you want to see how to mix your resin. And right there I did a little oopsie, no worries, I'm going to go in with a silicone spatula and just scoop that off to kind of fix that. Or you could let it cure and the next day go in with a piece of tape and just hit that little spot with a piece of tape and pick that right off before you pour your next layer. So with the liquid diamonds, unfortunately, this is like my sad news part of this video, I developed an allergy to it. So I am not going to be able to use the liquid diamonds anymore. Even though I use my PPE, I wear my mask, you know, I wear long sleeves, I wear my gloves, I never ever touch resin with my bare hands. Um, I still developed an allergy and I do recommend that you guys wear a respirator mask when you work with epoxy. It's best to protect your lungs. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use the liquid diamonds anymore. Um, I have been using the Let's Resin Epoxy and I've been doing great with that. So I'm going to continue to use the Let's Resin Epoxy. I will still have my coupon code for the Liquid Diamonds. So if you guys um, are doing okay with it and still work with it, then you can use my coupon code to get a little bit of extra savings. But I am not going to be able to use it anymore. I do have a few more videos that I filmed before I discovered this allergy and I will be posting those. But kind of going forward, I'm not going to be able to use it anymore. And that can happen, um, you know, just over time you can develop an allergy to it. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I was really sad about that, but let's get back to the video. So I just went in with some orange glitter, poured that right in the center. This is just glitter mixed with clear resin. And now I'm going to go in with some iridescent white glitter and hit the kind of edge where that orange was. Um, this is, of course, you know, the next day I let that black layer cure overnight. And this is the next day filling up the mold the rest of the way. This exact white that I used has been discontinued. It's from another brand, but I do sell a similar color in my Etsy shop. It's called Sparkling Snow. Definitely check out my Etsy shop. I have a lot of really pretty colors of glitter available. I'll link my shop down below in the description box along with it, all the other materials that I used. And that was it. I just let that glitter layer cure. This is day number three, 24 hours later, getting ready to take it out of the mold. I was really excited to see if this turned out like a monarch inspired butterfly because that's what I was going for. And I really think that it did. I love, love, love this one. I really, really like how the holographic pops on that black oil slick glitter from my Etsy shop. And off camera, I just took my little drill, drilled two holes in the top, attached my eye screws and glass crystal beads and turned this into a sun catcher. Here's how it's looking all finished up super gorgeous and I have a video showing how I drill my holes and all that good stuff as well I'll link that video down below but let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel naptime creations and definitely go check out a few more of my other videos that would really help me out a lot helps out my channel if you watch a few of my videos back to back but I hope you guys are all doing fantastic thank you so so much for watching I appreciate you all and love you all so much and I'll see you soon for another video bye guys